All right, guys. It is Thursday, January 6th, 2022 at 8.41 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys. So today was uh, the um, January 6th anniversary of the insurrection that happened at the Capitol. Thankfully, nothing happened today, and um, so far, everything's good. Let's take a look at the dailyverses.net verse of the day. It says, See, the enemy is puffed up. His desires are not upright, but the righteous person will live by his faithfulness. Habakkuk 2.4 Alright, let's take a look at my Twitter page. It says here, uh, the post that I, I pinned to my profile says, Don't give up. Jesus Christ loves you. The very Son of God who breathes galaxies into existence loves you. That is no small thing. So hope, hopefully that helps somebody feel loved, because God loves everybody. All right, next from Dabu Seven says, "When will people wake up? We are being choked off from supplies." Jordan Lacrosse posted, "Sent the fiance to the store for lettuce. Got this photo in return. Is there a leafy green shortage in D.C.? Every everything else looks to be stocked." Uh, people uh, please let us know hoping to produce an answer trying to remain calm let us puns so this person's trying to make light of the situation that there's absolutely zero lettuce in the store section that they're looking at but this brings up the um, the point that some stores whether it be Walmart or any other store, some sections are like this. The lettuce section or maybe the sandwich meat section or perhaps even just the regular meat section. Sometimes uh, you go in and it's stocked and sometimes you go in and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's like, what the heck happened here? Like, uh, are they going to even bring back any of the food that we need? So please be aware to stock up on the things you need while you while you can see it. If you see it in the store, make sure you grab it if you're able to afford it. Um, if you have uh, less than enough means, uh, then slowly stock up on items like uh, either canned goods or um, cheap items. Then make sure to slowly over time build up and stock up on the things you need. Because the times, man, the times are pretty spooky out there right now. All right, next, doctors warn of that COVID antiviral pills may be dangerous for some patients. So that's pretty spooky. COVID antiviral pills may be dangerous for some patients. So it's not just a magic pill. All right, next, snow coming in. The jet stream is pushing the snow. And the snow's coming in, says Craig Sissies. It says lots of orange and red for Nashville. The traffic map, meaning it is very slow, if not crawling or stopped due to traffic and weather. Quite a few road and ramp closures in Tennessee. So Nashville experiencing some uh, slow traffic because of the snow and cold weather happening on the roads. All right. This is from James Spann. It says snow total today just east of Gatlin, Tennessee. We got up to 8 inches of snow there. That is quite a lot of snow. And then here from Brett Adair, it says exit 54 and 124 from Haywood Lean in Nashville. Tons of, ab of abandoned vehicles from accidents or being stuck. So a lot of vehicles having issues driving through Nashville, Tennessee. So please be aware if you live in that region. Please make sure, you, if you don't have to drive out today, make sure you stay home. But if you do have to drive out, make sure you are careful because the roads are pretty hazardous. It says 4 inches and counting in Nashville International 8 hours ago. So Nashville getting hit by snow. Alright, and this is from Elon Musk. It says, Starlinks with lasers deployed to orbit. This is quite interesting. Starlink, uh, Starlinks with lasers deployed to orbit so the satellites are being released in the atmosphere that now have lasers what could uh elon musk need the, his starlinks to have lasers for that is quite interesting and spooky at the same time reminds me of terminator for some reason and skynet all right 
Next from Eric Fisher says, Don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but just make sure this is on everyone's radar. Sunday p.m. looks pretty gross. A mix of rain and freezing rain, sleet, icy interior spots are likely, and it will get extra nasty overnight as temps drop over New England. So snow and sleet coming your way for New England. And then here we have Ryan Hall saying, If you can't tell, I'm having a blast out here in all of this snow. So a lot of snow happening uh, in the middle of the country, Tennessee and Kentucky. So please be safe if you're driving out there. If you don't have to drive, make sure you stay home because it's spooky out there. All right, here is the Tropical Tidbits map of the jet stream bringing that cold uh, wind and snow down the Tennessee area and parts of the northeast tonight. All right, let's take a look at the National Weather Service. We have Central Kentucky with winter storm warnings and winter weather advisory for southwestern Ohio and northern Kentucky, parts of West Virginia, Washington, D.C. with winter weather advisory, New Jersey, Delaware, and southeastern Pennsylvania and eastern Maryland with winter storm warnings. So the whole, uh, from Maine, from northern Maine, all the way to Massachusetts, Boston, surrounding areas, all the way down to the mountains, the western mountains of North Carolina and northwest South Carolina is pre and parts of Tennessee are pretty much having winter storm warnings and uh, winter weather advisories. So please be aware if you live in the Tennessee, North Carolina mountains, Kentucky, um, West Virginia, parts of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Vermont, Massachusetts, um, the whole uh, northern Maine and New Hampshire area. Um, you guys are getting cold weather, possibility of snowing coming, so please be careful as you drive. Alright, let's take a look at the 24-hour snow totals. Here is a forecasted snow totals over the region. It's going to be all the way from Tennessee all the way up to Maine and parts of Canada, as well as the Great Lakes and uh, parts of Montana and Oregon and uh, Washington State, as well as Idaho. So we're getting the snow forecast and 24-hour snow totals coming in. So please be aware. All right, this is the frost freeze temperature, meaning that it is pretty much at freezing temperature all the way coming down to Texas, all the way coming down to Louisiana, parts of Mississippi and Alabama, halfway through Georgia, halfway through South Carolina. So the freeze line is coming down. It's going to be cold. All right, here is the current wind chills for today, January 6th. We got 38 in Texas. We got 26 and 28 in Mississippi and Alabama, 35 in Georgia, 46 in North Carolina. But look at this. Look at Montana. Tw negative 24 wind chill and negative uh, 29 wind chill in the Dakotas. That is pretty cold. So please stay bundled up, stay warm, stay safe. It is cold out there. Also, I wanted to drop a uh, mention. I had mentioned it in a previous video that I did. Um, I do videos uh, either on the computer or personally on my phone. So this is uh, covering the, the things that I had commented in a previous video that I did on my phone since I wasn't on the computer. We have Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan says, fr it says here from routers, fresh violence erupted in Kazakhstan's main city of Alamadi after Russia rushed in paratroopers overnight to put down a countrywide uprising. So an uprising was happening. The people were beheading people, uh, excuse me, the people of the country were beheading the people of the government. And then they called in the Russian paratroopers. Look at this. We got Russian paratroopers coming in with their guns, trying to bring stability back to the region. So people riding and trying to face off with the Russian military up in Kazakhstan. So please be safe and pray for the people of Kazakhstan having to deal with the Russian military and everything going on that's happening every day. Please pray for everybody and the people of Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, people of New England, the people having to deal with all the snow and uh, have to drive in this uh, difficult terrain and uh, difficult snow uh, for cars. It's dangerous out there. Please pray for everybody. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. Hit like and subscribe for more news and see you guys next time. God bless you guys.